The World Health Organization has just declared MPOX a global public health emergency on August 14th following an outbreak of the viral infection in Democratic Republic of Congo. There have been more than 17,000 suspected cases and more than 500 deaths in 2024, mainly among children in Congo. Now, a dangerous mutated strain of the virus has been detected in at least six African countries. The World Health Organization said the current upsurge of cases is an extraordinary event with a record number of cases in Congo. What exactly is MPOX? How does it spread and how can it be treated? Let me explain. Mpox is a less contagious cousin of smallpox with generally milder symptoms, although it still can be lethal. The fatality rate for Mpox has been about 3 to 6 percent. The disease was first discovered when it was spreading between monkeys kept for research that led to its former designation monkeypox, which was later changed to Mpox. Although the main animal source has not been identified, rodents are suspected of playing a part in transmission. Mpox tends to follow a pattern starting with fever, muscle ache, fatigue, headache, swelling of the lymph nodes, and other flu like symptoms. Within a few days of fever on Onset, patients develop a rash that can develop into fluid-containing pustules or lesions that may appear on various parts of the body, including the genital and anal regions. These lesions can lead to further complications like blindness. The illness typically lasts two to four weeks. Children and adolescents have been most affected in the outbreak that is now spreading in Africa. Close contact with the virus from an infected person or animal, such as touching a lesion or a contaminated object, is the main pathway. The pathogen enters the body through broken skin, the respiratory tract, or the mucous membranes in the eyes, nose, mouth, rectum and anus. It is not airborne and common household disinfectants can kill it. The current variant related to a more virulent strain called Clade 1 is reported to be spreading faster through sexual contact. The illness is usually mild and most people recover within a few weeks. Treatment is mainly aimed at relieving symptoms. Smallpox vaccine, antivirus and vaccinia immune globulin can be used to treat Mpox as well as control it. For now, limiting the spread in Africa will require global surveillance, coordination and concerted community support, all of which will need financing. Perhaps most most importantly, Africa will need an adequate supply of vaccines. Immunization typically entails two injections administered four weeks apart.